Good morning everyone, it's Lana again. I still have my cold, I still sound like I live in a barrel. Welcome back to my bathroom. Um, today I wanted to show you this smoky eye in um, using navy blue and like a baby blue base. I know that uh, they say the rules are that if you have blue eyes you're not supposed to wear blue eyeshadow, but I don't believe that. I love the color blue to wear and I wear a lot of navy blue with my job so I wanted to show you today um, how to achieve this look in just a few minutes. Uh, the first thing I did was I primed my eye in Urban Decay Primer Potion and um, I'm going to use my Coastal Scents um, prim or palette again. This is the blush palette and I'm going to go in this fourth from the top on the eyeshadows. It's this really pretty baby blue. Um, I really love this color. So I'm going to use my um, MAC 239 brush and I'm going to pick up quite a bit of that color <clears throat> and pack it on to my eyelid. I'm going to use my little eyeshadow shaper. I'm going to show you, there's a link over there you, uh, that you can get one of these for $1. And I'm going to use all the proceeds are going to go to disabled people. So I just pack this all over my eyelid at the top. Uh, and then <clears throat> get some more color and run it along the bottom as well, all the way in. doesn't have to be neat or tidy. This is our base color. So... I just want to use it as the, I like a lighter, lighter color on bottom and then a dark color on top. So I take that away, there's no fallout, just that pretty blue, baby blue color. The next color I'm going to use is Plumage. I, I love this color. It's a, a peacock blue, like a navy blue from MAC. It's a matte, which when you get to be my age, um, matte colors are so much better. They don't show all the wrinkles and the problems we have. So I place that back place the eyeshadow shaper back and just start at the outer edge <coughs> excuse me pack on really hitting because you're covering that lighter blue color I really have to pack a lot on the outer edge and feather it into the inner but we don't have to worry about fallout I already, I already have my foundation my blush on so I just want to keep feathering this in going from the outer to the inner all the way to the lash line. Don't miss any spots there. And like I said, since I'm covering up that really light baby blue, I'm going to have to use a lot more color here on the outer edge. And I just keep feathering it in. And I'm just about done here. I know it's boring. But I'm just about to pull my eyeshadow shaper away so you can see how easy that was. And it's perfect. There's no fallout. There's no mistakes. I've got it feathered just perfectly. I'm going to use my MAC 217 brush, which is one of the best brushes ever for feathering. And blend out any harsh lines. Then I'm going to use my Urban Decay 24-7 um, eye pencil in zero. And just kind of Kiss along the edge of your eye liner or your eyelid top. I always do the water line on the bottom and the tight line at the top. And what I do is put the pencil inside the lid and kind of halfway close your eyes and run it along so you can get both top and bottom at the same time. It doesn't tickle, it doesn't hurt that way. And then to get that, to achieve that. Hot, uh, the look to make everything keep going up, I give it a little wing out on the end just because I like that look. And there you have it. I'm, gonna, I'm going to now apply my um, L'Oreal Lash Extend. I only use the white primer part <clears throat> and hit all my lashes. This gives your lashes a thicker um, longer length. I don't have nearly as many lashes as I did when I was in my 20s, even in my 30s. 40s, things kind of really happen, and by the time I hit 50, 53, ooh, it, it's not very pretty, but we are not going to give up. It's a war, it's a battle every day, and I, I, I am going to win this war until I'm 90. I'll still wear makeup when I'm 90. I love makeup. So I just catch every line, or every lash, I'm sorry, with the primer. 
And then I used this, I think I, that was my dog. That was my rescue dog. I rescued a Chinese crested hairless dog and she is so pitiful. Somebody was so mean to her, but she screams. She screams out just for nothing. This is called, I, I want to pronounce it, I'm a Jew, Fiber Wig Mascara. And it's got these wonderful little, I'm sure the camera won't pick it up, but these wonderful little fibers that I use and they really coat your lashes. They thicken your lashes. They're wonder this is the most wonderful mascara I've ever used ever. And I just hit all my lashes, top and the bottom. And I'll come back and give that one more coat here in a minute. The next I'm going to use my MAC. This is the 219 brush. I, I don't know if this is what MAC intended this brush for, but I like to use it on my uh, under the brow bone. But I'm going to take the MAC or the Coastal Sense, the white, which I, I have this in the blush uh, palette as well. But I just put it at the arch of my brow, a dab, and work it over and out, both ends. Grab a little more color. It just highlights your eyes and makes your eyes more open. And then I, I always do this. I don't know if it's right or proper, but I put a little bit on the inside corner of my eye. Opens your eyes up and gives you a way more youthful, brighter look. And I, you just can't really make a mistake with this. You just blend it. And to be honest, I also noticed that it catches all of your little eye when your eye makeup slides to the center of your eye, this kind of masquerades it or camouflages it so you don't have these big black eye boogers like you sometimes get when you wear uh, makeup. So that's my finished look. I'm going to take my, my brush again and just, where's my little, I think I dropped it. I can't live without that. Anyway, I guess I won't do that. I was going to add a little more color. I'm afraid to do it without my um, eyeshadow shaper because I'll have it going every which way. But that's my finished look. I think I will do, I take my MAC at the end of it just to keep everything lighter and brighter. This is um, called Luna. It's like a highlighter and it gives you that, your eyes that dewy color. And I just take a little bit on the ring finger and put it under my eye and slide it up and put just a little bit in the hollow of your temple there just to kind of highlight your face a little bit. I'll do that on the other side as well. And that's my finished look. Um, today, I'm supposed to be getting a big haul in of MAC, and I will do a MAC haul when I get that in from UPS. I was so sick, I wasn't even able to go to the MAC store over the holidays, so I had to order some MAC online. But I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, stay safe and stay warm. Thanks a lot. Bye.